This is completely different for me. I've never done a purple hair this color before. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a beginner friendly unit, honey, but it's definitely workable. I feel like with a little bit of work, you can make it work for you. Cut my check, coming for the neck. Take what I want, cause I earn my respect. I be the connect, expect to get left, plus you gon' get right. What the hell did you expect? Como se dice se pato o plomo, but take an ad easy like poco. Welcome back to Half Big Hair Reviews. I'm Angelique. If you're returning, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're new to this channel, just make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos weekly. So today I'm coming back to you guys with yet another new unit. This one is from Bobby Boss, the Glueless Lace Wig Collection. I'm wearing it in the style MLF 264 Paisley in the color number Ash Dot Lilac. So let's just pop right into the specs of this one. So this unit, you do get your typical cap construction as far as your two combs in the front, your one comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. It does come pre-plucked. It does have HD lace and 13 by 4 parting space. It does also come with baby hair. So let me just come in and show you guys what the hair lines looking like on this one. The hairline itself seems pretty good. It's a little, little bit dense, but it's still workable. And also because it is a 13 by 4 you can go in and pluck it out yourself if you want to. But y'all know I'm a lazy girl, so I wasn't trying to do all that. I just try to make it work with what I could. Clearly, my natural hair is a darker color, so this is going to be kind of a harder one to blend, especially if you have a medium to larger size head, just because you're going to want to get this as far up above your hairline as possible just so that if you have darker hair like myself it's going to be easier to mask because like y'all can see you can see the darkness so like you can see it does attempt to go ear to ear and I did just add my got to be hold spray to just trying to get it to cover up my sideburns but my sideburns are kind of like 4C just like my natural hair so it's kind of hard to kind of camouflage it, but it does attempt to have that ear to ear lace. So just know if you have a large size head, that one could be an issue for you. As far as the cap size is concerned on this one, I definitely want to say it's coming out small and medium-ish head friendly. It does have a little bit of stretch, um, so you can possibly get away with wearing this one, but I kind of would definitely stray on the side of caution. The texture on this one, I'm really, really liking it, you guys. It's coming off like a medium yakky type texture. Definitely no I don't know if it's because it's a colored unit. I definitely don't think it's because of the texture. I definitely did get a good amount of shedding with this, honey. But what I do like is that the hair quality itself does still feel pretty, pretty good. I have ran my fingers through it a bunch of times and you can see the curls are still in their place. It's still holding the curl all these times that I'm running my fingers through it. So that, like I said, the quality of the hair does seem pretty good. This is all the hair to the front. It's sitting at a really good density. Density is about 150%. 
Um, I feel like it's definitely the perfect amount of hair. It's not too thin, it's not too full. I did also have to go in with my heat wand at about 340 degrees just to get it to kind of lay flatter because it does seem like they may have some filler fibers in this. So it was getting a little stiff right here. So I went in with my, um, my wax stick and also my um, curling wand to just get it to lay flatter. The length on it, I'm 5'3 for reference. And as you can see, it comes right above my boob. So definitely pretty manageable length. So let me just pop into the cons and the pros of this unit. My only con was probably gonna be the fact that I got more shedding than I would have liked. I know that it's curly synthetic unit, so I did expect shedding, but not necessarily as much as I got. It wasn't necessarily enough to make me stray away from using this com unit completely, but I wanna say specifically in this color because of the shedding, I would consider this special occasion unit. I think if it wasn't a natural color and I got less shedding, I definitely could see wearing this one every day just because that's the type of person I am. But as is in this color with this texture um, I want to say that this is not necessarily going to be everyday type hair if you want it to be everyday hair I probably would go more towards like a natural color but that's probably going to be the only con I have on this unit my pros on it I feel like the hairline's pretty decent and workable straight out of the box I like the um, the baby hairs that they came with they were kind of long though so you may want to go and cut them out but I just didn't feel like doing all that so I just swoop the swoop like I always do I think this curl pattern is beautiful the color is definitely unique and different the construction of this unit is pretty good it does lay pretty flat after you add that heat and the wax stick I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a beginner friendly unit honey but it's definitely workable I feel like with a little bit of work you can make it work for you and the fact that you do get that 13 by 4 printing space you can go in and get different styles going and that's pretty much all I have to say so I hope you guys found this video helpful if it was just make sure you give me a like give me a subscribe comment down below any of these units want to pick up in any other colors honey and until then hope to see you guys soon bye